What is up YouTube? So today I'm going to show you how to use a Vim surround, which lets you do all kinds of different wrapping. Uh, not that kind of wrapping, the wrapping where you can wrap either parentheses or double quotes, single quotes, all of that for your code, which you tend to do a lot whenever you're programming. One of the things that I felt I was missing whenever I switched to IntelliJ and I was using IdeaVim is I wasn't able to get a lot of the nice surrounds that work inside there. So I found this awesome plugin uh, that actually works in both IntelliJ and in Vim, and you can do some really cool stuff. So I'll show you how to configure that in both Vim and IntelliJ so that you can surround all your text exactly how you want to let's jump into it all right so in here we're in vim and i'm just in my vimrc file as you can see i use vim plug if you haven't watched the video about setting up tmux and vim check that out i'll put that in the description as well as link it right here but i won't go over how to set up plugins but you just need to know that this one from Tim Pope is a really awesome plugin. It's called Vim Surround. There's another one that goes alongside it that's called Vim Repeat, and that lets you repeat those surround operations so you don't have to redo them over and over and over again. So both of those are really good ones to install. The web page for Vim Surround is in here, and it can show you all these shortcuts that I'm about to go over if you want to read more in depth. Again, this is really cool. And another thing I want to point out is Recently, by recently I mean the past few years, the default, which is lowercase s, was switched to an uppercase s. And you can see that reflected right here. And there's also a commit from Tim that changes this, which what I ended up doing is I don't really use the substitute command very much. So I ended up just mapping in visual mode, lowercase s to big S. I don't have to deal with that. So heads up on that in case you're trying to do these same keyboard shortcuts. All right, so let's say that we wanna surround some text. We'll say, hello world, just right here. And again, I'll just do this in the VimRC to make it easy. But what you wanna do is YS and then a motion. So in this case, we could do IW and then you can surround with whatever the brackets are. So like a parenthesis and you can see hello is surrounded because we selected that one word and if we wanted to change it then we can do cs open bracket and then if we wanted to change these to a single quote we can do that and you can see that that changes here now a lot of times you're actually selecting different text so let's first remove these and so we'll do a ds and single quote and then delete our surrounding tags ys to add cs to change and so it's cs whatever you're selecting and then the new one and then in delete it's just ds and whatever the the surrounding thing is let's say we actually wanted to like select this whole thing let's do that instead with a visual and then end a line and so if we want to surround this whole line in visual mode then we would do s and then whatever the parentheses are or you could do something like s and curly brackets then you can see these are all selected, these are surrounded. This is super nice. If you wanted to repeat this, then again, you can use that same plugin, the Vim repeat, do the same thing over and over and over, and you can get that nice repeatability in Vim. One of the things to point out is whenever you're doing the surround, so YSIW and left bracket, you can see it gives us some space around it. If I undo that and do a YS inner word and the right hand bracket, you can see I don't get any space. And this is the same thing across any of the brackets. So let's say I wanted to do the same thing, but with curlies. So YSIW and a right hand curly, and I don't get any space. Whereas if I did a YS in a word and the left hand curly, I get spaces. So it makes a difference which curly or parenthesis or square bracket you're using. So make sure you're using the right one for whatever case you want. And then you're able to repeat those as well. So make use of that. Another cool thing you can do is actually wrap it in different tags besides just using your double quotes or single quotes. So let's do YSIW again and do EM and we'll bold this. And you can see right here, we're bolded the hello, and let's say you wanted to actually get rid of that and add a different one, you can do DST and that'll delete it. And then you can do YS in a word and you can do like a P tag or something. There you go. So you can use this to build a HTML or use it in React, all kinds of different stuff. So check that one out. Now I'll show you how to configure it in IdeaVim. The first thing you need to do is create an IdeaVimRC file. Put this in your home directory, just like you would a VimRC file. And then you need to set this right here where it says set surround. And this is how you get that surround plugin. 
Uh, again, what I did is mapped the lowercase s to the big S so that you don't have to do the default and you get a lot of the default stuff there. And then another plugin that I'd also suggest is this nerd tree one doing Vim commands is pretty sweet. Let's jump over to IntelliJ. Make sure that you quit IntelliJ after you set up the idea of MRC so it pulls it. But once you're in there, then you can jump in and use these commands. I'll show you the exact same commands. So if we had a hello world and we wanted to do a YSIW curlies, then we can do the same thing. And you actually get the dot command for free here. You don't have to set something different up. So play around with this. Let me know if you have other cool tips and tricks that you found and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.